Hola, ¿cómo está? Bien, YouTube, bonjour. Uh, this Canadian conquistador. Um, yeah, so this video is going to be on sound. Uh, my sound quality has been horrible. Um, I decided to go out and buy some equipment to improve this YouTube channel. So that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about improving sound quality. Um, there might be some ranting going on about things that I've been doing in the last three months. I haven't really put out many videos, but I'm expecting to improve upon that. I've been inspired. I've had these microphones sitting around for a while now, and I think it's time to update my sound. I'm going to break open this box, this microphone system I bought, and uh, it got good reviews. We're going to look at it. If I can get it working today, I'm hoping my video, my audio quality be 100% better. But let's take a look at this. So I've had this box, I believe I got it through Amazon, uh, probably a good three months ago. It's a Rode. Um, it got really good reviews. Very expensive, I believe. I paid almost 300 bucks for this. Oh, here we go. This is what comes with the package. Um, pouch to carry the microphones in. Two USB-C cables. SC cable. Not sure what that's for either. Two windbreak fur windshields, is what they call them. And two receiver and transmitter. So we'll have to figure out which one's what. Oh, guess what? No instructions. Hey. <laughs> so I'm going to guess that this is the microphone that will be connected to my shirt. This would be receiving sound through this. And I believe that this is the transmitter to the phone, probably. It's kind of confusing because we have this jack for I believe regular cameras I do have a regular camera and I will eventually start using that but see we got one and two for the camera and I'm not sure why the transmitter would have that also one of these little lightning jacks so I'm assuming that this goes to the phone yeah no instructions I could use probably watch another YouTube video and figure it out if I get in that much of a jam, but hold on and I'll be back. I believe that this red jack goes to this white jack and I believe that there's only one place to plug into an iPhone this type of adapter and that's through the bottom of the phone. So we're going to plug it in and see what it says. The phone, see if this phone is really that smart to detect this thing. Uh, so the sun is out and... It's snowing. Yes. Yeah, I'm outside. I'm waiting for that road. I was having power issues, but it actually just needed to be charged. <laughs> yeah, it didn't come with instructions, so I'm all bundled up outside. It's in the 20s. Yeah, I've become a wimp since I moved out to Colorado. I mean, out in New York, we get negative 30 and stuff like that. And here, it's only in the 20s, but I'm still cold. But anyhow, back to the road um what's the point of it it's like i was discussing earlier is uh, it uh flexes up and down the closer i am to the mic if i don't i've learned to hold my camera my phone at a certain distance so that you can hear me in audio but if i'm back here you can barely hear me and when i'm up here it blasts into your speaker so the mic is going to keep it level. Um, it's also going to transmit at a distance so that I can actually get away from this camera. I can do distant audio so I can be filming myself walking around the yard or whatever, whatever, whatever you, your needs are. Um, for me, it's just to back away from the camera so you're not getting headshots all the time. Um, I think this is going to be a very useful, needed accessory for the YouTube channel so that I have better quality, you know. I plan on putting out at least 100 videos this year, so stay tuned for those. Um, uh, while we're waiting for that road charger to charge up, I kind of wanted to show you permaculture as an always 
uh, clean and neat. Um, I've been gone for roughly almost two months. And before that, I had trashed the yard because I'm working on my geodesic dome. Um, this video is going to come out before I finish that, but I do plan on finishing that video. Um, I have a huge video coming out. It's going to be an hour and some minutes long. It's uh, basically where I've been for the last 45 days, but that's another video. I'm not going to reveal that until it's published. Um, but I'm going to show you destruction of humans in the yard in a permaculture set setting and destruction by chickens. <laughs> um, if you're doing the wood chip thing and you're laying them down or if you have a nice clean landscape, I'm going to show you what's going to happen if you let your chickens out of the coop. Um, I'm letting them out because it was kind of trashed anyways and I need to do major cleanups over the next um, month or so. Everything's going to come together. I've got all the stuff that I need to finish the pond. I've got the stuff to finish the creek. I've got, um, I need to go down and get wood to finish the geodesic dome. That's going to be my office for future videos. And let me take you a little tour of what destruction humans do in the permaculture yard and small urban backyards. Okay, so we're waiting for that microphone to charge. Um, obviously I've got my greenhouse down, the great blimp. Um, yeah, I just left it there. It's a good thing too, because we had some pretty heavy 84 mile per hour winds. Um, yeah, it's got gotten pretty trashed. I've got stuff over here that I have plans um, for this geodesic dome, but you can see everything's just disarrayed. Um, there's dirt where it's not supposed to be, soil where it's spo not supposed to be. There's pots all over. I'm digging a trench inside the geodesic dome that's eventually going to be leveled with dirt up to the top of the cinder blocks. Um, yeah, I got this hammocks in the middle of the trail. Um, yeah, so chickens, let's talk chickens. Chickens, there's, this is a brick pathway, okay? They've completely scratched and thrown all the wood chips into the pathway. They will do things like this. They will dig holes. They like to get protein. They like to get those worms and bugs. Even in the winter time, they need it. Um, here you can see they dug around the trees. I don't know why they dig around the trees. Maybe that's where more of the life, the organisms are dwelling at that they need. They also like to sunbathe, you know, they'll dig down to the dirt so they can throw dirt up under the wings. Here, they scratch this all out. I'm stepping on about six inches of wood chips. It's, they just completely throw it wherever they feel like it. Yeah, I've got stuff laying around. It's all going to get cleaned up. Um, I'm going to take you on that journey. This rabbit hutch. We haven't seen the gray rabbit, so we're down to one rabbit now. Um, I believe the gray rabbit went down deep and died. Went down deep into the hutch, because like I said, this is all an underground labyrinth underneath this hill. This mound is going to get redone. I'm going to do a video on that, show you how I make the hobbit house. It's completely destroyed between the dog digging it and just collapsing. Um, I believe that might be where the gray rabbit went in to die. Um, I'm going to clean it all out. There's a lot of rabbit poop and stuff that I'm going to throw on the mounds. Um, this is all going to go in here and then the path will be reclaimed. Okay, what else can I talk about? Um, more wood chips on the path. Um, yeah. So... I've got sprinklers out, I've got everything's just a mess. Like I said, I've been gone for 40 days, but before that I kind of left it trashed. There's pruners there, there's sprayers there. I'm still working on that. Um, that's another video. This whole area is getting revamped. It's going to be brand new. It's not going to look like the old one. Um, but that's the way I roll. I always make a 
a prototype and then I sit back for a couple of years and dwell on it and see how I can make it better and then I make it better I make it look better for instance this chicken coop is about the third prototype that I've done and I finally like this one the best it's easy to access get into the chickens were out earlier they're kind of hanging out in the coop now um, yeah the dog likes to chase them likes to chase the rabbit too uh, it's getting pretty aged in here the chickens actually go up here now they're like in this coop uh, they go up there usually on the top to get some sunshine when it's sunny out but today's like a gloomy or disgusting day um, yeah I threw a bunch of bags of leaves in here and there's a bunch of pine cones in here Maybe we'll get a pine tree to grow in here. Who knows? <laughs> um, oh, no, this tour is just short. We're going to go back in the house and finish hooking up the mic. Show you the difference between the audio you've been hearing. And when I get it hooked up, we're going to see if it makes a huge difference or not. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it was worth the money I spent on it. Um, yeah, it's winter time, so I'm also going to be transplanting a few of these trees and plants to different spots. I've got a Japanese maple here that needs to be planted out behind the pond. This, though, here, I dreamt that. So, this is a path right here, right? Right here is the path. I'm planning on taking this out taking this out this is all cactus right right here there's cactus over here too i plan on putting a ring of stone around this tree pulling out these jujubes not jujubes um gomi berry and move those probably over here somewhere um they turn into big bushes though so i don't know maybe i'll put them up back here um but i'm gonna brick this up to here all this is going to be brick <clears throat> I'm going to keep the path but the edge is going to be gone and I'm going to put brick over to here over to here and around the fire pit so this will be all brick and I think that will make like a nice little section because um, I'm going to have a lot of planting spaces when it all is said and done and this is going to get three trees put into the raised bed. I'm going to put three trees in there. It's going to make it look dynamic. And that's it. I'm getting cold. We're going to go inside. Hello there. Um, all right. So that was more than just a, a little wait. Um, that was actually about 48 hours since I filmed last for this video. And we're talking about the road microphones um yeah what took me so long is i was realizing that the volume was not working as planned um the whole system wasn't working as planned and i did some research on youtube and found out that so here's the cord originally the original cord here we go notice how there's two black lines on there um well, it's like that on both ends. That's a standard cord that they give you when you buy this system. Um, so I had to buy a new cord that has three black lines on it. So this is what you're gonna need if you have an iPhone. I'm not sure if that's gonna work for an Android or um, I believe that other one's standard for like a Canon camera or whatever else you wanted to hook up to, to a computer or something like that. But we're gonna give this a try and see if we finally have some success. All right, so let me turn this camera around. Bananas. So here we go, road. This is the transponder. I guess you gotta hold it down for a few seconds. Yeah, there we go. That's the transponder. And then we're gonna turn on the microphone. That's the microphone. Um, the power buttons on the bottom on this so we turn that one on they're both on now you can already see the green bar moving on 
this one here as I talk. So we are going to unplug this old cord. All right, so we got it plugged in. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna have to like rewind this video and see if it actually works. I may actually walk away from the phone and see if the volume changes, if it's better. All right, so we're gonna do the test here. I got the transponder. I'm gonna walk away and talk the same volume and see what happens. Oh, you know what? Once again, I think I got the wrong thing hooked up. Oops. Oh, no. This is the mic. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Test, test, test. Hello. This is a success, it appears. Um, I'm going to have to work out the kinks. There's going to be a numerous amount of kinks going on uh, between figuring out the distance I can go with this microphone and setting the decibels and there's some minor adjustments you can make with the Rode microphone system but um, yeah this is going to mark a new level of fantasticness for my channel um, audio is huge you know uh, yeah next to video um, and I hope to bring a lot more videos to you in the future oh, it's been about five months since I ordered a lapel for my sound equipment. This is the last piece that came in yesterday. It's this little lapel that I've been waiting for. It's got a big long cord to it. Um, this will attach to my, my shirt. Um, so we'll test this out later on, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to conclude saying that this is the last piece of my sound equipment. And hopefully over the next video series, we're gonna have a drastically improved sound quality. I'm really looking forward to the future, the future videos for this channel. I feel that it's going to be 100% better in content and quality. So I hope you stick around. If you like this video, I hope you like it. I hope you hit that bell on the bottom that will keep you notified of new videos coming out, which will be coming out more frequently. Um, I did take a break, but if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Um, it helps me get my channel out there in the public, and it makes it more worthwhile. Okay, we'll see ya.